Number 66, unreasonable results. Body fat is metabolized, supplying 9.3 kilocalories per gram when dietary uh, intake is less than needed to fuel metabolism. The manufacturers of an exercise bicycle claim that you can lose 0.5 kilograms of fat per day by vigorously exercising for two hours per day on their machine. So how many kilocalories are supplied by the metabolism of 0.5 kilograms of fat? All right, so let's take a look at letter A. So we can do a very simple dimensional analysis, okay? So we want to know um, how many kilocalories are supplied. So therefore, that's our answer, right? So KCAL, all right, that will be our answer. Now what our job to, is we are to set up these conversions and place the units right in these spots so that they cancel, right, whatever the case is, and they leave me with just the unit of kilocalorie. That's the goal, okay? So let's see what we are given. So they tell us that uh, body fat, right, supplies 9.3 kilocalories per gram. All right, so let's write that down. So it's 9.30 kilocalories per one gram, okay? And now uh, we wanna know how many kilocalories are supplied by 0.5 kilograms. Well, right here I have kilocalories per gram, but I wanna know it per essentially half of a kilogram. So therefore what I need to do is convert this gram into kilogram first. All right, so let me just move this over there a little bit. So this is gonna be now multiplied by gram on the top, kilogram on the bottom. There are 1,000 grams and one kilogram, so the grams cancel. And now this would be, my answer would have, be in terms of kilocalories per kilogram. And now all I need to do is get rid of the kilograms, right? So, you know, if this answer would be kilocalories per kilogram, and then I multiplied it by the number of kilograms, you can obviously see that would then just tell me the number of kilocalories. So the number of kilograms that they're asking us to calculate it for is 0.5. So the 0.5 goes on the top here, and that's kilograms. So notice the kilograms go bye-bye, and what's the only unit that you're left with? Kilocalories, and that's what we wanted over here. So we're good, all right? So let's just erase this and let's calculate. So in the calculator here, it's uh, 9.3 times 1,000 times 0.5, and we get a value of uh, 4,000, uh, 650 kilocalories. Okay, so that's great. All right, so now that takes care of letter A. That's how much, or that's how many kilocalories would be supplied by a half of a kilogram of fat, which is about a pound of fat. Um, all right, letter, letter B. Calculate the kilocalorie per minute that you would have to utilize to metabolize fat at the rate of 0.5 kilograms in two hours. So for letter B, again, we can do another dimensional analysis, right? We can start with what we are asked to calculate. We're asked to calculate the kilocalories per minute. All right, so let's write those units here. So we need kilocalories, kilocalories per minute. Okay, that's, that's our job. And now what we need to do is figure out, well, what conversion factors do we need in here so that when we multiply them all together, we get these units, right? So they say that we, we are metabolizing 0.5 kilograms in two hours. All right, so first I notice that, you know, my time unit here in my answer is in the denominator. And therefore what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write this as a fraction because this is really just a rate, right? It's 0 0.500 kilograms of fat per two hours. All right, so I can write this as a fraction and that's basically a rate. And I notice that this time unit is also in the denominator. So I like that because it's consistent with my um, required uh, unit that I need to calculate for. So this is going to be 0 0.5, so let's plug that in. 0 0.500 kilograms per two hours. Okay. But now I notice, right, first thing is I need to go to minutes. So I need to get rid of the hours here, and I need to convert it into minutes. All right, so remember that for every one hour, there are 60 minutes. So notice here, the hours cancel, and what you're left with is this is how many kilograms of fat you would have to a burn in then the number of minutes, right? So now I don't want to know grams of, excuse me, I don't want to know kilograms of fat. I want to know kilocalories, okay? So basically now what I need to do is I need to get rid of kilograms, all right, and somehow introduce kilocalories into the mix. So notice I'm going to be a little shy on room here. So let me just move this over a little bit, okay? 
So now uh, I realize, again, I was given this value. This relates, right, the kilocalories per mass. And in this case, it's just per gram. So let me uh, first realize that I have to convert my kilograms into grams, okay? So kilograms on the bottom, grams on the top. For every one kilogram, there's 1,000 grams. So kilograms cancel. And now I have the unit of gram. And now I can use this conversion factor, basically, right? That says for every one gram, uh, there are, in, in one gram of fat, there are uh, 9.30 kilocalories. So look, the grams cancel. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is what you're left with now, kilocalories per minute. Okay? So it's a nice little technique. All right? It allows us to calculate it very simply. So now since the units work, we can be pretty sure that our answer is going to be right. So let's do it. So 0.5, oops, 0.5 times 1,000 times 9.3, all divided by, in parentheses, 2 times 60. And we get a value of 38.75. So this is about 38.7, or 8, sorry, 38.8. And that's kilocalories per minute. That would be the rate right in which we would have to uh, expend energy per minute. So it says letter now, letter C, what is unreasonable about the results? Well, I think what might be easiest here is let's convert this because this is essentially energy per time. Remember that power is in units of energy per time, right? And power is represented in watts. And I have some watts up here in this table. I have some common watt values. So I think we'll be able to, when we compare it to these numbers, probably be able to see if this is reasonable or not. All right, it might be a little tough to, uh, to, to see if it is at the moment. Um, so simply, let's take now the value of 38.8 kilocalories per minute. Remember that watts are in terms of, right, joules per second. So basically I gotta convert kilocalories to joule, minute into second. Okay, that's the goal. So kilocalorie on the bottom, K-C-A-L, joule on the top, remember that there's 4,184 joules in one kilocalorie. So that takes care of that. And now I gotta go from minutes to seconds, minutes on the top, because that cancels with the denominator value. For every one minute, there's 60 seconds. So there we go, so we got our answer, okay? And we're left with joules per second, right? All right, so let's plug this all in. So we got 38.8, times 4,184, all divided by 60. And here we have a value of 2,000. Hold on one second. So here we have 2,000, like 710, right, or so, 705. I mean, that's in terms of watts now. Now take a look at, do you see this value even close to any of these? You might see it, yeah, well, it's close to the sprinting value all the way here at the bottom. But how long can you actually sprint for? Right? Can you do it for two hours? I, I, I know I can't. Right, So I think it's going to be a little unreasonable. All right, That's basically, it, it's just way too high. So what premise is unreasonable or which premises? I mean, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I, it's just that you cannot, you cannot metabolize 0.5 kilograms of fat in two hours. It's just not possible. It's it. It would, uh, it's basically impossible, or you would have to go, you would have to expend or produce more power than sprinting for two hours. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. That would be awesome, and I'd appreciate it so very much. I look forward to helping you with the next problem. Have a great day.